welcome back to the vlog guys <laughs> thanks for being here i'm excited that everyone's here if you're new here i'm alicia if you're not new here then you'll know that the last vlog i did was like a sit down chit chat life update i told you guys that um nicholas signed with the denver broncos we were <laughs> moving to denver um and that was the plan I had told you guys that I was gonna film all um, Denver content and like the road trip and whatnot. <laughs> okay, Lily wants to play. Um, and that's what we were doing. And then I think like not two days later, Nicholas got waived by the Denver Broncos. Um, so he came back home. I think that was two weeks ago now. So basically, we have been living in limbo since then, which it has been a time, guys. It has been such a weird time. Um, it was a really good welcome to football life, like the realities of football life, where there are a lot more inconsistencies than in college football. Um, so basically... Our lease at our place that we at our apartment ended on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. So we are currently at an Airbnb. We have been here since Sunday. Um, and we really have been playing a bit of a waiting game. But. Okay, guys. I know. I know this is chaotic. Trust me, I'm living it. But. It's fine. It's going to work out. We just have really had to try and have that um, just go with an attitude, which is really weird because just go with it, but go where? Like, go what? Go how? Where, where how, what, why, where are we going? So we've just... <laughs> this is going to be so chaotic. So basically, we've been waiting to hear news from any NFL teams and whatnot. And if we didn't hear any by today, that was our deadline and we basically have planned to move to Canada so that Nicholas can play in the upcoming season for the CFL. The CFL is a is basically like a smaller version of the NFL. It has it takes place in Canada and um, there are a few rule differences, but basically it's the same sport. Nick was drafted in the CFL International Draft to the Hamilton Tiger Cats in Ontario. So basically that's where we're going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the CFL season starts in literally two weeks. Nick has to get there and you know start training with the team. The team's been training for a while. Um, but obviously it's such a like unique situation and like they've been really good about the whole like giving us time and whatnot. So tomorrow morning, we are headed to Canada. It's a 22 hour drive from College Station. We are going to do it, I think in three days, two nights. Nick, Lulu and I are heading off to Canada for six months. So it is exciting. It's been chaotic, if you can't tell. Like, I can't even like telling this story just makes me be like, oh my God, this is chaos. But it is very exciting. Um, I've never been to Canada before. Nicholas has never been to Canada before. If you guys didn't know, Nick moved up to America and has lived here for five years, basically in college. I lived in Italy. I was an au pair over there, I think in 2020. I then, you know, went back home, whatever. And then as in went back home to Australia, I came to America. I've been in America for two years. So I'm a big traveler. I love traveling. So I am excited to go to Canada and see all the amazing beautiful things that Canada has to offer. I've heard so many great things. I have some really good friends that I made um, when I was living in Italy and they were other au pairs of other families and they they live in Canada so I am excited. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see them. I know Canada's a big place and I'm pretty sure they're on the complete opposite side but it's fine. So we're heading to Canada. Tomorrow we are going to start the journey to moving to a different country. I mean you never know what you're going to get with football life. That is where I've been and that's what I've been doing. We've been packing up our apartment. We've been trying to work out where we're going, what we're doing. Um, 
that's why I haven't touched base with you guys and I am sorry about that because I know I did promise all this content and I would have given it to you I promise I would have um, but obviously plans changed and I couldn't really back that up anymore but that's okay because we're gonna get totally different content we're gonna get Canadian content which is gonna be awesome and I'm so excited for it I've had like lots of friends as well work in Canada I think it's quite common for Australians to go up to Canada and work for the summer so I am excited that we're gonna be there in the summer honestly it's been so wild it's been such a crazy couple of weeks we really have been just leaning into like sort of having this be God's plan. I have tried to really lean on that a lot in my life, probably the past couple of years, and just really lean into those words and what they mean because I'm quite an anxious person. If 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 you know me, you know I'm quite like I talk about how I'm quite an anxious person a lot. But I find really trying to lean into those words, even though it can be difficult sometimes like that's what gives me the most comfort if i'm like lying awake at night and i'm like oh my god what the hell are we doing what are we, where are we gonna go what are we doing i try and lean into that obviously nick and i have each other's backs and like our family has our back as well so it's much easier to do these things when you have like such a good support network but um in terms of like giving myself reassurance in this time because it is such a chaotic time it's definitely leaning into it's all happening according to god's plan like whatever's meant to be will be and it's all already written for people that don't necessarily lean into faith too much i know that could be a, a little bit like okay well that doesn't make any sense but honestly it's the way that i've been able to bring myself the most comfort in this time i am excited to see a new place we've been so blessed with the life and the experiences that we have been able to have in America and in Texas and it's just been such an amazing opportunity and I, I harp on about this all the time but it's not something that I think I will will ever get to experience anywhere else in the world and I'm sure we'll make like no matter where we are like we'll make friends and we'll build a community and like that's such an exciting part of this I moved around a lot in school I went to I think six different schools and making new friends and meeting new people doesn't phase me whatsoever like I'm really blessed that I had those experiences when I'm younger because obviously it's like prepared me so much for the life that I'm leading. But I think that knowing and valuing what we've had here is super important. So I'm super grateful and ready to sort of like go into these new experiences. So I don't want to talk too much because I know last vlog I did so much talking and already this is so long on Nicholas's home. <laughs> How'd you go? Good. Good. Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This vl whole vlog is going to be the road trip vlog. I'm going to try and film as much as we can, but we're doing the drive as quickly as possible. Like we're doing eight hours a day for three days. So we're not going to stop much and sort of explore as much as I would love to. We just don't really have the luxury because like I said, the team in Canada has already started training camp so they're already training so we just kind of need to get up there as promptly as possible i'll film like what we do and obviously there will be stuff to film so that's what this vlog is going to be thank you for bearing with me and dealing with this long spiel again when my last upload was half an hour of a long spiel i'm excited to be somewhere new experience something different it will be such a blessing um and i will keep you guys updated on the journey we're driving from college station to memphis tennessee then tennessee to indianapolis indiana and then from Indiana to Hamilton, Ontario. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the vlog. Oh no, it's so blurry. Okay, guys, it is the day of our first drive. We are, how many hours in a week? Huh? Three and a half hours in. Nick woke me up at like 4.30. We packed up the car and then left and we were on the road by 5.30. So it's been a bit of a journey. We got Lulu sitting back here. With her. She's just chilling. Lulu is like the best touch wood. I don't want to jinx it, but like Lulu is the best car dog ever. Like she's so 
easy she's so chill in the car and i know for a lot of dogs that is the car like makes them sick or like they get anxious lulu is so good in the car that's the one thing she's just bringing at so thank goodness for that especially on this journey babe how are we feeling like ebb and flow a little bit just because we'll have to we've made one stop already oh we made a stop and there was a dog a stray dog at the um gas station we were at and he was so sweet and i have like Lulu's biscuits in the back and like i would have honestly like between nick and i i don't know who would have initiated it but we totally would have picked him up if one we had any room in the car at all and two we weren't about to cross an international border and try and take a dog with us any other day of the week we would have picked him up but also having Lulu in the car and Lulu sometimes is a bit funny with other dogs I like had Lulu's biscuits in the back so I gave him like a cup of biscuits and lots of treats and he was so sweet like he must live there he's not in like amazing condition he's a stray dog but he's in pretty good condition like he's not super skinny or anything and he was just so sweet and he just sort of slowly goes up to each person and makes these big puppy dog guys i was saying to nick he probably has such a good gig there like he just slowly goes up to people and everyone would just belt when they see him and just give him food he's so sweet so that was sad he was a big dog he was probably like a people mix but so so sweet like just the sweetest it's a big head and just so sweet anyway we need coffee and starbucks is not here so i guess maybe we'll get a mcdonald's coffee it's looking like what's gonna happen but we'll see ice caramel macchiato that's gonna be something you appreciate that you are Okay guys, we just crossed the border from Texas into Arkansas. We left our beloved Texas behind. Um, we just drove through Texarkana, which is such a fun word to say. We've been saying Texarkana. How do you feel leaving behind our Texas, my Texas? It's God's country. It is God's country. We love Texas. It's okay. We'll be back one day, Texas. I don't know when, but we will be. About oh, four hours left. Hasn't been so bad. I don't mind, did it? Yeah. I feel like this actually feels like it's gone quicker than some of our um, Houston drives. Maybe change of scenery, who knows? Okay guys, we just got here. It is 2.17. We made great timing. We don't have any plans for this afternoon really. We're just chilling, Lula's in here. Nick's gone to check in for the hotel and stuff. And that was a pretty smooth drive. Like honestly, Nick drove the whole way because he won't let me drive. I slept twice and um, I ate some snacks. But overall, I think it was pretty successful. And the weather here is gorgeous. Like it said it was going to be storming. It's so nice. Guys, we just got into our hotel room and it is so nice. This is our view, which I mean like beautiful. What are you doing? doing beans
one small hot latte and then can I also get one grande brown sugar shaken espresso with sweet cream cold foam with regular milk instead of oat milk. Thank you. So have a good day. You too. Thank you. Okay guys, day two of our little little big road trip. Today was a six and a half hour drive. We have four and a half hours left. It, we've been like riding with a storm the whole way, so it's just been like raining the whole time. Um, it looks like it's settled down a bit now, but it has ebbed and flowed, so like who knows how it's gonna go. I feel like we're both pretty tired. I mean, we didn't leave super early this morning, but early enough since we left early yesterday. Lulu has comped it. She's out. Um, She's so cute. She's been so good. Um, so we went to Graceland yesterday, saw Elvis's mansion. We didn't go inside because like we only had an hour left of opening time and we were also so tired. Um, but we did go see it. We saw the front of it and like called our mums, both our mums, especially Nick's mum. He's like a big Elvis fan. So we like just called them and FaceTimed them and showed them the mansion. We came back, got dinner chilled for a bit in the room and then went and got some ice cream at night. I wouldn't go back to Memphis in a rush. I thought there were parts of it that were super beautiful. We just happened to be staying on Beale Street, which was super nice. Beale Street is like the main strip in Memphis where like it's very touristy, um, a lot of live music. Um, it's just like that blues kind of vibe, which was super cool to see big beautiful neon lights it was stunning but it was also i mean we didn't feel super safe in nashville so i mean not nashville memphis so i don't know we'll be going back there in a hurry but it was like beautiful to see i was super glad we got to see it we had like steaks for dinner last night just at the restaurant in our hotel and that was basically it so today six and a half hours to indianapolis and then tomorrow is it Tomorrow six and a half or is it eight? Oh, okay. And then tomorrow is six and a half, but we'll have to cross the border, which will take us a few hours. So we'll have to do that as well because it is obviously an international border between Canada and the US. So we'll have to do like passports and work out on our visas and whatever. But yeah, it's it's been a bit chaotic this morning, I feel like. Yesterday was pretty relaxing. We enjoyed it, but today is pretty chaotic. We're just gonna keep going until we get there. We stopped, we got Starbucks, um, and I got like some melon mix from Sprouts so I could get something to eat because if I have a coffee on an empty stomach, it is not good for anyone. But, yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, that's what I have to update you guys on. I will catch y'all later. flood like any sort of like natural disaster or like emergency it broadcasts like that on the radio and it like obviously then details everything and then it makes that sound again and it's such a scary sound I mean I know it it's like that so it grabs people's attention but it broadcasts on every radio station which I'm sure like in Australia there would be something similar to that if there was a natural disaster but I never hear it in Australia because we don't other than like bushfires, but I'm not located near a place that would bushfire. Um, but if you've ever watched The Purge, the sound that comes on at the start, when they're about to start The Purge and it's like, this is a national like alert, it sounds exactly like that, but I had never heard that alert 
before other than when I'd watched The Purge and then I heard that and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? It's actually really, really freaky. It feels kind of unnecessary, but basically I just wanted you to know that that sound sounds like The Purge and every time I think about it, I think that we're going to have a purge, but we're not. Okay guys, it is 8 o'clock, um, we made it to our hotel room, we got here at 4.30, we basically dropped all the stuff off, got steaks at Texas Roadhouse for dinner, which that was my first time going to Texas Roadhouse, and like don't knock the steaks there because they're pretty good. Nick has just gone to, I don't know, I think he went to the gym. A nice chill day today, we have 8 hours ahead of us tomorrow, we're trying to leave at like around 6.30. We also have to go through customs because tomorrow we are officially leaving America and crossing the border into Canada, which I just can't believe. I think it's one of those things like it'll feel real when it happens, but right now it just doesn't feel like it's happening. I think that's all I have for you guys right now. I am excited to see Canada tomorrow, not that we will see much of it because we will probably get there at like 6 p.m., but it's fine. We're so ready. road trip we're about four hours and 45 minutes away from getting to the airbnb it's exciting i can't believe it i it doesn't feel like it. do you feel like we're going to a foreign country today no it doesn't feel like it probably because it's not like an airport situation and in australia obviously it's like an island you can't drive across the border anywhere so this is pretty fun. We've done all our morning things. It's nine o'clock. So we've gotten our coffees and had our brekkies and what, whatnot. And we just made like our first stop since leaving this morning. It is Memorial Day weekend, so I thought it was gonna be, the roads were gonna be busier, but touch wood so far, they're not busy. Um, I guess probably everyone's heading more to the warmer climate down south as opposed to like up north. But also, we are in like kind of the middle of no way Indiana too right now. Which, Fort, Fort Wayne. We're 19 miles from Fort Wayne. So if anyone knows where that is, that's where we are. It's been beautiful to see like a lot of America this way in, in the countryside and stuff like that. But yeah, we're a few hours away. Lulu was not feeling well yesterday. She threw up yesterday night once we had gotten to the Airbnb. Um, not Airbnb, the hotel and she threw up in her crate and like she was very sleepy yesterday and Nick and I were both kind of like that's weird that she slept the whole time but obviously I think she just wasn't feeling that great um, but today I think she's feeling a little bit better I'll update you guys as we go you know the drill by now okay guys we are on Ambassador Bridge Technically still on the Detroit side, but we've passed the point of no return going over into Canada This is crazy. So we're about to go through customs and all that um, But the traffic on this bridge is wild obviously I mean like it's not flowing traffic everyone I guess has to go out and do their customs thing We don't really know what the go is but like we're just gonna wing it and hope it works out we still actually, we predicted wrong though, we still actually have three and a half hours till our destination. So, still a bit of a hike, but we'll be in Canada, so. We just got out of customs. We spent three hours there. We are officially in the land of the Canadas. I am, it's so, it's actually pretty. It's like really lush from what we've seen. We haven't even driven a mile. Everything is in kilometers again. So we have to like 
go back to getting used to miles we never got used to the weather being in fahrenheit so that's fine celsius won't be in just we're gonna head to our probably we're kind of peckish but we, we've still got three hours of driving and we have to head to our airbnb can't believe we've left the land of us of a i'm excited excited 